2020 was a hard year for so many people with so many events and activities cancels, canceled, including the Olympic Games. But for a local gymnast, that rare delay has provided a unique opportunity with the 2020 Games being pushed to 2021. Connor McLean is now old enough to compete for a spot on the Olympic team, a dream she's been working towards for years alongside her coach. On most days, this is where you'll find Connor McLean working alongside her teammates at Revolution Gymnastics in Cross Lanes. Six days a week, sometimes five hours a day, Connor lives and breathes gymnastics. And at this age, a lot of people just burn out and they want to do new stuff and new sports, but I'm not there yet, thank God. <laughs> I still love it. Her teammates and coach more like family. I don't think we'd be able to like do this sport at this level without having like encouragement. We have to be a family or else we get tired of each other. Connor has been with coach Susan Brown long before the days of doing this on the balance beam. You may say they were destined to be together. You've known me since I was born. Her mom and I go way back. We've been friends since grade school. Susan watched as Connor as a baby started mimicking her big sister's gymnastics moves. By four years old, Connor was flipping and spinning well beyond her years with a natural talent and a drive to succeed unlike anything she'd seen. Like I tell people all the time, with Connor, she would go to the Olympics without gymnastics in another sport. It's just, that's what she wants. The amount of commitment you have to have and dedication and confidence and just so much towards this sport, even just the sport in general, not even elite. You have to have the right mindset to do this. And if you don't want to do it, then you, you aren't going to make it. And while Connor has that mindset as they moved into USA Gymnastics, Coach Susan says having an athlete at this level made her question if she was ready for the challenge. I did see a sports psychologist for a little bit, just trying to wrap my head around everything. Um, and she really gave me some tools that I needed to help me with my confidence and because it was rough at the start being around, you know, you just jump in with your your idols and then Connor, it's sometimes you're like, am I going to be able to be enough for her? Throw arms, arms. I am the comedy relief sometimes that she needs. She's a little bit more serious than me. And I think God brought us together because of that. They've been together for 12 years, which is unusual in the elite world, but they have found a lot of success with national and international medals. Connor was on a steady path toward the 2024 Olympics in Paris, but then COVID pushed back the 2020 games to 2021. And all of a sudden, the now 16 year old Connor became old enough to compete and the world took notice. National publications and organizations all writing and tweeting about the young star thrust onto the big stage, even part of a documentary about Olympic hopefuls that brought a film crew to her hometown for months. At first, it was definitely hard mentally and physi even physically just trying harder and working harder. Um, but I feel like it had more effect on me mentally. Um, just everybody coming from everywhere, asking me for interviews, asking me all the questions. Oh my gosh, you can make the Olympic team. Like, I don't really want to think about it. I just want to work for it and then think about it afterwards. With the spotlight now brighter than ever and the timeline pushed up three years, Connor continues to train with her teammates and keeps doing what she does best, staying focused. Our trajectory just got changed by, you know, three years and you just can't, you know, you can't get, you can't get all excited, you know, it's, it's exciting, yes, because you get some attention and, but just we're still on a steady pace to 2024 to Paris. The ultimate goal is still 2024, but Connor says even getting to the Olympic trials this year would be a huge bonus as she lives out her dream. Like sometimes I'm just like in my room and I'm thinking, this is crazy. Like what I'm doing is crazy. So what's next? Connor has a national competition May 22nd in Indianapolis. Championships at the beginning of June. And she says hopefully those Olympic trials in July. We did have a great time there at Revolution speaking not only with Connor but with all of the athletes. So head on over to our website WCHSTV.com where we have much more including an extended interview and video with Connor's training partner Emma Mason who at just 15 years old recently won medals in a big regional meet.